Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Five Minute Friday. So as you can see, I am in my car this week and it was basically this or, or no video this week, unfortunately. It has been a crazy busy week. I brought my vlogging camera along because I knew I'm literally going from like appointment to appointment to appointment today. And I knew that it was either take my vlogging camera with me, get this filmed and up for you guys, or, or not be able to get another video up this week. I haven't put up a five minute Friday the last two weeks. And I know you guys have been really, really bummed about that. I've been super, super bummed about that because I love these videos. But today's five minute Friday is going to be my top three most used luxury handbags. I felt like I could, one, I think this is just a great video idea. And two, it is definitely one of my most asked questions on all of my platforms. So I wanted to go and get started. So let's go and get that timer on and let's go ahead and chat ladies. Okay, so number one on my list is no surprise. It is my Pochette Matisse. I feel like I use this bag all the time. It goes with basically everything. It's a great size. It's very versatile. For the most part, it's pretty worry free. You can, as you can see, I'll put a picture here. Um, it's got a little bit of a cut on it. It's a great bag. This bag is very, very popular. Obviously everybody wants it. You guys know, I just recently gave one away, did a giveaway for one. Um, but it is, it's definitely one of those bags that I reach for all the time, whether it's during the week, I want quick, easy grab and go on the weekend with the family running errands, whatever it is. It's just one of those bags that I love to use. I think looks amazing. And I do feel like it just gives a little bit of a different look to an outfit than even other bags in my collection. My next most used handbag is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the GM size. So keep in mind whenever I selected the bags for this video, I didn't just pick bags that I used the most over the last few weeks or last month. I really looked over the long haul. What have I been using over multiple months? What do I reach for the most? What has really gotten a ton of use? and it is definitely my Neverfull GM. This bag is amazing. I get asked all the time about this tote, which size I should, or they should, you should get, whatever it is, like depending on your size, your height, things like that. People are always curious about this handbag. And I have the MM size, you guys know, I've been wearing that one a lot recently, but my GM is like my go-to Neverfull year round, especially in the monogram. I love this bag. It is great for an everyday bag. It's great for a mom bag. It's great for a teacher bag, a school bag, a work bag, a diaper bag. I mean, this bag is amazing. I love that you can put the sides inside, like cinch the sides in to make it look a little bit smaller. If you want to, if you are carrying it for more of an everyday bag, but then you could open it up and just, I mean, you could fill it to the brim. It's actually the bag that I'm carrying today. I, I love this bag. It's great. I highly, highly recommend that tote. Even if you just are not into the big size, get it in the MM, the monogram. There's just something about the monogram that gets so squishy and soft and comfortable. It's like a cozy sweater. I like to call it a cozy sweater that you can use year round. And I just think that it gives off this effortless chill vibe that, um, that is kind of can't be matched with my other totes. I have a lot of other totes and that is the only one that I feel that gives off that like effortless chill vibe. It, it really, really does. It's so comfortable. I, I just really love it. So yes, that definitely gets a lot of use from my collection. And number three on my top three most used luxury handbags is my Chanel filigree in the small size. So this is the newest of the bunch. Um, as you guys know, if you've been following along, you probably saw me unbox that bag, but I very quickly fell in love with that handbag. I reached for it a ton. I feel like it has allowed me to bring a little bit more black into my wardrobe, but not feel like heavy. Does that make sense? I feel like for some reason on my particular body frame, my particular body type, I just don't feel like black always looks the best on me. It always feels just like a little bit heavy and a little, just a lot on me. And I really prefer a lighter, uh, brighter like kind of vibe. I don't know. Does that make sense? It's just, I prefer like neutrals and creams and ivories and whites and grays and things like that. Um, but I do love black. I think that black is I mean, black is a classic color, of course. And this bag has allowed me to add a little bit more black into my wardrobe and have a handbag that can, that I can reach for and not feel 
just heavy. I, I don't feel like weighed down with it. Does that make sense? And I don't mean like actual weighed down. I mean just like a visual weighed down. And this bag to me, I love it. I, I will have this bag in my collection for the rest of my life. I have wanted that Chanel bag for years, you guys. So when I finally got my hands on it, I feel like I barely put it down because I love to reach for it. If there is an opportunity for me to need that particular bag or a black bag, that is always my first one to see if it looks the best because it's my favorite. It's really comfortable to wear. The size is great. I can wear it crossbody. I can double up the straps and wear it on the shoulder or, or like handheld if I want to, but it's just a great, classic bag that I can wear casual I can wear it dressy you can wear it in a professional environment I just love it I love 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 that bag I will link all of these bags down below for you guys if you're looking to purchase this one the filigree one is definitely harder to find but if I find some I will link them down below for you guys but thank you guys so much for hanging out I'd love to get some more five minute Friday suggestions if you can put those down below in the comment section as well and I will see you guys in my next 5-Minute Friday or my next video. Come back for my next one. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, that notification button, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.